Don Taylor. Good evening, everyone. I'm Don Taylor. This is the news. Uh, the only show that has any chance tonight of drawing a bigger audience than the final episode of Friends. Now, speaking of Friends, it's official. Brian Burke's best buddy now has his old job. With uh, Burke's blessing, 37-year-old Dave Nonis is the new general manager of the Vancouver Canucks. This is the story of a kid who grew up in North Burnaby in the shadow of the Pacific Coliseum, dreaming of playing for the Canucks one day. Who would have guessed that kid would end up in charge of the team? Here's Dan Murphy. He was given his first hockey job 14 years ago by Brian Burke. And for the past 12, Dave Nonis has worked closely by Burke's side. So on Monday when Nonis was asked to replace Burke as GM of the Canucks, the decision was not an easy one. And three days later, after saying yes, Nonis had a difficult time talking about his mentor. And finally, I'd like to thank... Um I'd like to thank Brian Burke for the opportunity that he gave me and uh, the friendship he's shown me. Yes, Nonis probably owes the majority of his career to Burke and has learned much from the fiery Irishman. But make no mistake, Nonis has his own ideas when it comes to improving the Canucks. I'm my own person and uh, you know you know me and I'm, uh, I'm going to make sure that I do the things that, that I think is, is, is right. You know, we do the things that we think are right collectively as a group. Now, clearly, Nonis is not as loud, brash, or bombastic as his predecessor, but he's no pushover either. As one news reporter found out Thursday when he suggested Burke's firing was a debacle and asked Nonis what he planned to do to regain the confidence of Canuck fans. I don't think that the confidence of Vancouver fans will be shaken by the, the news that, that I'm the general manager. I've been part of this for six years. Uh, hang on, I'm going to answer your question, please. Um, the answer, the uh, handling of the Burke thing, you know, Brian Burke has uh, was was not extended, and that's a decision that ownership made. I've just told you it's difficult for me to go through that myself. And uh, people in Vancouver that know me, the people in this room that are here every day, understand what it's going to be like. And uh, we're going to do a great job here. We have to figure out what the best way going forward is to to make sure that we can be successful and we're you know we're not just hoping that we can do that we're determined to do it and we are going to find a way to improve this team to the point where we continue to have long-term success dan murphy sportsnet vancouver thanks uh, so much uh, murph a great show of support by the canucks today everyone lining up in behind uh, dave known there dave spent the past six seasons working under brian burke as the canucks senior vice president and director of hockey operations before that, he was in New York for four years, working under Burke as the NHL's manager of hockey operations. Uh, his first stint with the Canucks started uh, with a junior position back in 1990. Dave has an MBA from the U of Maine, where he was captain of the Black Bears for two seasons. He also played uh, junior B hockey with the old Burnaby Blue Hawks. Now, several Vancouver players, as you saw, attended today's press conference, and to a man, uh, they give Dave Donis the big thumbs up. I think that this is a this is a, a very good move. Obviously, Dave Nonis is uh, is very respected throughout the hockey circles and has got great uh, knowledge of the game. He's uh, he's learned under one of the best and, and uh, is going to do a great job. So, if Monday had to happen, this is a uh, this is a, a step in the right direction. I think we all feel uh, comfortable when you know who's who's going to run the team and, and who's going to make the decisions. Uh, and I feel I feel confident about it, his ability to, to make those decisions. You have great people in the organization to keep it in house, and uh, you know they they made the right decision. Um, like you said, you bring someone else in, and uh, you don't you know uncertainty of players being here. So um, you know we have a good group here, and um, obviously in in hockey there's always going to be changes, but I, I think for the most part. Uh, you know, he's committed to make the right decisions and the right ones. 
All right, our power poll tonight. What is Dave Nonis's number one priority as the new GM of the Vancouver Canucks? We're giving you, uh, what? We're giving you six choices here. Improving the goaltending, getting Todd Bertuzzi reinstated, re-signing Brendan Morrison, keeping Marcus Naslin happy. Marcus with only one year left on his contract. We always hear about him not talking about ending his career in Sweden. Improving team grit and toughness, big problem in the playoffs, or adding scoring depth. You want to uh, take part? Uh, cast your vote at sportsnet.ca. Of course, uh, there were two strong candidates within the Canuck organization to replace uh, Burke. One was Nonis, the other was Steve Tambellini. And if you think Tambellini is angry at Vancouver management for not giving him the general manager's job, well, then you don't know Steve Tambellini. In fact, as we found out today, Nonis is the Canucks' uh, new, gym. We all, uh, new GM. We also found out that Tambellini will be his right hand man. Steve is now the assistant GM. Well, Chief Operating Officer Dave Cobb will assume some of Brian Burke's responsibilities as team president. Dave and I have worked quite closely together for some time. Uh, a strong relationship away from uh, the business part of our game. So uh, we're very confident that we can take this through. Where Brian did have uh, business responsibilities, those will will flow over to me but in most cases they were sort of joint things we did together anyway so I don't see a drastic change. I don't think there's going to be drastic philosophical differences from what you had seen the past five years so um, will there will it be different? Yes but overall the direction I would say uh, as far as commitment and what we're going to ask from our players ask from our coaches will stay the same. Dave Nonis uh, wasted no time in making his first move as a new Canucks GM. His first order of business at this afternoon's press conference was to announce that associate coaches Mike Johnson and Jack McElhargy had both been signed to three-year contract extensions, meaning they're locked up for the same amount of time as Mark Crawford is. I think it's wonderful. You know, I, uh, I was telling some of the other people here today, you know, I, I think in, in, in the future I can envision those guys running their own teams as well. They're that high of quality. Our players uh, know them, they appreciate them, uh, you know, and, and it, that's such, a, such an important part of, of what we do. They, they're honest with the players, uh, they're honest with me. We have great interaction as a coaching staff. We have a great uh, um, just feel as, as a coaching staff. And we we balance each other off so well that you know I was excited uh, about Jack and Mike being back on and I know that uh, they're the type of, of guys that uh, uh, will continue to help this club make the improvements that we need to make. Football now RCMP and Surrey have arrested BC Lions defensive end Ray Jacobs and have charged him with drug possession. 